So I'm going to place an object on the table and the arm is going to swing around and take a photograph of it. The camera is mounted right below the top AX12A servo. Takes a photograph, look at the screen. It's going to create a bounding box and that's what it uses to calculate the size of the object. If it's under 10,000 pixels, it'll drop it in the small bowl. Now it's going to come around, it's going to sweep. The relay is going to turn on the electromagnet, so the electromagnet is activated now. And then the relay is going to turn off so the object can be released. Next, this object right here is a little bit larger. And if you look at the screen, you'll see that it's almost 27,413 pixels large. So that's obviously going to be dropped in the large bowl. These uh, connectors are made of wood, so they're balls of wood and they're just painted. So this object obviously is a lot smaller, you can see that it's 512 pixels. Again comes around, activates the electromagnet, and then the electromagnet shuts off. And in this video series, I will show you exactly how to recreate this project at home. You'll need about 3 meters of 22 gauge coated copper wire wrapped around the steel bolt in approximately 3 layers. One end will go to the 5 volt relay negative black and the other end will go directly to the power supply positive red remove copper wire coating at the ends with a lighter and sandpaper the 5 volt relays that I looked at would not work properly on the Raspberry Pi due to the GPIO's 3.3 volt limitation. I found a mod that replaces one of the SMD resistors on the relay with a trim pot and will link the video below. A relay is like a fancy light switch in your bathroom. When the NO terminal closes, it completes the circuit and allows the charge to pass through. This NO terminal open and closed position is controlled by the Pi. I purchased two 18 volt 3 amp benchtop power supplies from eBay for $25 each. The one on the right powers the four servos with approximately 11 volts and 260 milliamps, and the one on the left powers the electromagnet with approximately 2 amps and one volt. Since the electromagnet is kind of a short circuit, you expect to see a higher amperage. Mount the camera onto two 4 by one25 centimeter wood pieces with M1 by 3 wood screws. Attach a rubber band to the Bioloid F3 frame so that it slips between the screw mounts, as seen on the photo. Use the rubber band to secure the camera around the balsa wood connector. Connect one end of the one meter long flex cable to the camera, thread through the bioloid frames, and connect the other end to the CSI camera port on the Pi.
The 74LS241 Octal Tri-State Buffer on a breadboard is used to manage UART communications between the Pi and the servos. This way, we save money that would otherwise be going to some type of controller like the CM530, Arbotics M, USB to serial cable, etc. The small blue 170 point breadboard is an alternative to the larger 830 point board. On the GitHub repository, I have very large photos of everything in case you need to see more detail. I strongly encourage you to view my earlier five part video series on YouTube because this magnet arm project builds on that series.